Yep. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone and uh, open the select board meeting of the town of Stockbridge for April 12th, 2022 at 4.30 p.m. Uh, first on our agenda tonight, we will be reviewing the operating budget. Hi, Joe. All right, and Mike, you know that the, the door down at the end of the corridor is locked. So what that means is that handicap access is denied because you can't go up through the elevator and then get here. The back doors? What? Oh, I thought those doors were locked in the first place. <laughs> Forget it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go up there. You can't go up. You can't go through those doors. Unless, see, Charlie, we're in session. Handicap access. Charlie. You can't go up through the elevator. Right. And if you go that way and you get down to that corridor, those doors are locked. We don't have any doors between here and the lot and the... I just came through there. It was all open. I just, I must have gone the wrong way. Is this the right meeting, Charlie? I'm Charlie. Come back. Come back. Right, we're in a live meeting. Here. Charlie, we're in a live right. meeting. We're in session. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I only had a couple things on the operating budget. All right. All right. Can we so what I was going to I was going to go over the few questions we had that I had for you guys, mm -hmm. and what we've changed to date from the initial back when we were. So we went over this already once that we increased all diesel, oil, and gas by 50% in anticipation of what's been happening with prices. Um, that had an overall impact of an increase of $50,100 to the budget. Mm -hmm. We had a couple uh, positions, uh, planning board secretary increase. We had a facility manager increase, uh, police salary additional, or. Facility manager reduction, okay. conservation salary. Uh, SBSC is moving 40,000 from, uh, it was a warrant article for free cash, moving that into the actual budget. Then we have three other ones. So I just want to confirm everything because I've heard about this from a couple. Are we placing a five? I believe it, it is placing a five thousand dollar line item for cultural council. <coughs> put it under selectmen. Is that where you want it in the budget? Um, that would be a matching fund that was uh, yeah. requested by Judy. Right. So yeah, five thousand under selectmen. Yeah, it was requested by the chair. Can we just put it under cultural council? So yeah. it would be An a additional. Yeah. I mean, they don't. They, they get all their money from the state now, so we'd be basically creating a new line on it. It's a matching, yeah. It's a matching yeah, yeah, fund. Yeah, right. That's yeah. a matching. To be used for in stock. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. All right. By the way, this is not the same as the one from last Thursday. Just seen it. <laughs> Which one? Whatever you have here is not the same as the one that was last sent around to us. Well, these are a couple just requests that I, I know. added to the Good. page right, right today to make sure I ask these questions. Okay. Conservation committee agent. We we're looking at the possibility of an agent. They collect their file filing fees and and that there's twenty one thousand in that account. Are we adding a whole nother line of twenty thousand? That the twenty one thousand is over the last two or three years because we haven't spent any of that since uh, we did the the study in North Stockbridge of you know the endangered species study. So I think it takes in seven or eight a year. By the way, I think we should also address what our fees are because I don't think we've ever addressed that in like years and years and years. All separate issues. I would like to just put in the twenty thousand, and uh, you know, if you want to do it, fifteen, twenty, I don't care. Uh, I it's think 25. it's up to you, up, up yeah. to you guys if we're going to add this as a line item, mm -hmm. then they can use the twenty one. Because yeah. the filing fees come in, and a lot of times you use those directly for the project that you're doing, right. um, if it's needed. So, all right, so twenty thousand we'll added to the budget, and then we yeah. had a request. I gave you copies of a request from a planning board member to add six thousand dollars into a line for training mm -hmm. um, that could be used overall what um, do we have for training now for these departments uh we don't have any specific money but like in my account the the accountant's account and the treasurer's account there are lines for mm -hmm. um training mm -hmm. but there's no this is sort this of is a generic line awesome. that could be used by Committee members, select board committee, uh, uh, boards, committees, yeah. whoever. Like last Saturday, the the Massachusetts Selectmen's Association had a meeting, the Western Mass meeting. I was going to go, but couldn't. But you know, I think the thing costs 
yeah, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks or a hundred bucks or mm -hmm. something. And so this would be a budget for that. I think that the procedure on approving this is separate than the budget. I think she kind of put all the procedural questions around how to access the money and what you can go to and yeah. and who's a, who, who's available to. I think those are a future discussion on the board. All right. That's my opinion. Yeah. Well, how do they handle training now? Right now, um, we had a couple of uh, couple of people that have done training this year. Uh, one board member who the Kate Fletcher put in this request uh, took some training classes. I paid it out of my training budget. Right. So but there is lines within the planning board and, and the assessors or any of the boards, they might have additional money, but most of them don't have any dedicated money toward training. But in the end, it's our over, we only vote the overall department expenses not the individual that, lines. So. That is true and isn't true. In CONCOM, when I was on it, the fees budget covered any MAC training any member wanted to do. All you had to do is say to Ron or Sally, I want to take this class, and they would take it out of the fee revenue. And I, I took a few classes and got reimbursed well, by the town. Conservation has that, which most other boards do not. Planning have. doesn't have that? No, you guys have no fees? filing fees. Are conservation filing fees going to There's no the planning board time. filing fees? I know there are. Do you, do you there's, there's that general application fees. They don't go into just an account that I'm aware of that sure, they have sure. access to. Most boards do not, most boards, whether it's the select board for special part, those fees just go into the general fees. Okay. Um, under conservation, they're allowed, there's a section of law that allows them to have a separate account for right, right. their filing. Okay, I didn't know that, thank for you. professional oversight. I got it. Do you uh, use all your training fees every year? Uh, I vote well in the year. Not no. Uh, there are a couple classes I want to be taking coming up. So I, I mean, mine's adequate, and I think most years I would probably have a few hundred dollars in there for others. So um, I'm saying we have quite a bit more than. I think overall we could probably find it within the budget if that's what we're referring to, or if you want to specifically add another 6,000 to the budget, that could also be done too. And yeah. Kate has her hand up. No, well, the question, the other question is, is how is this parsed out by board and committee? In think, other words, this is a, a lump sum. Right. What are the procedures and protocols around divvying this up? Yeah. So, so hi Roxanne. Hi. Uh, hi, hi Chucky. Hi, hi Kate. So, okay. Roxanne, to your point, um, you know, another way I just sort of put this out there as a suggestion because I thought that um, it would be good to encourage people to sign up for these some of these workshops and trainings. So that was really my thinking. But you know, another possible way to approach it might be to say, um, allow, you know, for the boards that are volunteer, I gather the select board have members have discretionary accounts, right? They do have uh... This is our account that they're not really discretionary. Uh, and our other charges and expenses. There is a there is an account there. Yes. Right. So you know, one way to approach it might be to just um, determine yeah. determine um, an amount that you know, say for each board or committee where they're they're volunteers, you could potentially say um, you know, give each each member you know, a few hundred dollars a year to, you know, spend on some of the organiz the statewide organizations I, I outlined in my memo. You know, I don't think you're going to see any excess, like I can tell you that the citizen planner initiative, they're not doing anything in Hawaii. You know, there's never anything fun like that. <laughs> so- I have a question. If we approve the 6,500, because this is primarily a budget meeting, not a, not to, you know, does anyone have a problem with the, the training budget? It's, it's all a relatively trivial thing. How we did sparse it out doesn't have to be decided right now. Right. That doesn't have yeah. to be decided. But I, I mean, yeah. it could be, goes in, their, goes in the selectman's account. Yeah. The chairman of the board, of makes, any board, any member. That's one way Makes a question, the chairman right. goes through Mike and right. gets approved right. that way. Yeah. That way there, it's, it's you know, it's going through the select board or right. Right. going through Mike. But, and you but I can sure that there. it is but, not being, you know, so how just, I'm sorry, just what, particular group all the time. I'm sorry. So what is what is the procedure that you're so, outlining? So if you want to take a class, you request it to right. your 
chairman of the board, he brings it to Mike. Mike either signs off or doesn't. Chuck, that's one way to do it. We don't have to decide that now because no, there's other ways we could do it. And we could just approve the 6,500 because we got a million things to do and I've got a 530 school committee meeting. <laughs> I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Uh, Jamie has her hand up. Uh, Jamie? Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Roxanne. And I just um, thank you for taking my question. I just have a simple question aware of what the $40,000 for the um, Stockbridge Bowl Stewardship Commission is for. And I was just curious if you could remind me because I don't remember that request. It's, you've had uh, an operate, you've had, we've had the money in there for the lake testing and the water testing of the lake. Okay. And it's always just been a free cash article that's been okay. sitting there in free cash. But now that there's actually a board was to put it under that actual board and make it part of the operational since it's going to be done annually instead of putting it in the free cash as a capital item that that's the way it's been treated going back a number of years. So Same thing. It's, just, it's zero. just an accounting change, thank, Jamie. Thank you for just clarifying that. I didn't think that it was anything other than, yeah. you know, but thank you. Yep. Okay. So those are the changes to the uh, operating budget since our initial one. Are there any? Well, we also had the question have... of, you know, the merit pay thing. We never set what that was and we got to do that before we vote. I was just going to bring that up. I yeah. mean, go back to, we had some something in there that was an increase, correct? That was. Well, we had in here, right here is we have what the impact would be. I built in a 2%. I am trying to work on what to do as far as merit and okay. I, I will i need to get something to you guys probably by the 21st okay <laughs> so you will give us your recommendations yes. for merit increases yes. okay, that's, okay yeah that's what that's 10 days important. yeah yeah so i'll work I'll very work. very important that's going to be a yep. priority for me and then okay and then mr mr Belfan, so i see is on the meeting had the suggestion made to us about uh also you know um for lack of a better term, because I'm a little, this you know, ARPA combat, combat pay, pay. yeah, ARPA combat pay, yeah, you know, that's which a little, isn't part of the budget. It's not, not part of our really budget. a, a selective discussion. Well, it could be part of it, but I mean, we don't. I mean, we could use how we funded it could be separate than how what we're going to do with no, it. No, it's a it's only only it's authorized only through ARPA. It'll so. be on another Got agenda. It. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else from the selectmen as far as so operation? The only thing left in operation is the pay. Yeah. Right. Yes. It's it's the That's the only thing left. We locked out find everything else. Hundred percent. Find everything. Yep. To right. this point. I just said a couple of. Sure. All right. Well, we we're on the operating budget, so I operating budget. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. So we're all in agreement. We're good on on this. I think so. With Can the exception of the merit increases that we'll have to revisit. Uh. Elections. Blah blah blah. All good. Um. Can you scroll back up, Mike? Sure. Um, oh, that's the last one. There was a, okay. a salary increase. Planning board secretary is in there. Yeah, she yeah, I'd mentioned like to that. See an increase. It's been a couple of years since she's had any okay. increases. She does, she does all the paperwork, everything else. Okay. And did you put in the the Bush regional planning person? For next year, do you have enough money left over from this? I year? have enough money left over, and that can be a carryover. Yes. Okay. All right, is that our plan? Okay. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. If it is. Well, it's if the select board's taking that on or the planning board, I plan on having I, I was going to have a discussion about the planner with the boards to say, what are we doing? Okay. Is this yeah. something to continue? Is it not? The money that was in there, um, we've spent in the neighborhood of 52,000 of the 80 between the two years. So there is money left there that could be carried over to continue, right. or we could let decide what now and i'm not I'm, I'm asking i'm not advocating um there were times this year where there were a couple of things that we want to advocate for like parking i know that was important to you and that was we brought some good proposals forward i was advocating for like the you know kind of creative use of two families you know whatever not as an alternative because that was voted on and decided last year at town meeting but i'm wondering if 
we also might have access to a planner to flesh out some of our ideas if we have them to come up during the year. And I would certainly support 10 or 20 grand if I don't have any new things I want to pitch. But if it does come up, I thought it was a little bit um, kludgy to sort of, you know, not have really. I, I mean, you know, you, you know, you were you had more than enough in the ATM right. right now to fund fund a planning position plus. So, right. Based on I just don't want to take money away from the planning board. I'm suggesting that, you know, it, you know, in, in past two years, we put 40,000 each year in, right? We put it more. Yeah, no, 40 with anticipation. I mean, if we put another 10,000 in so that if we have ideas as a board, maybe we vote on them. There's going we to have, be 30 something thousand we remaining. We still don't have access. If that's money authorized for the planning board. I'm suggesting money authorized right. for this one. Right. And right now it goes back unless extended. So I thought, all right, if. I, I just don't, I feel like we should talk think about things, you know. That would be, a, I, I would assume that's a free cash, not an operational budget, or are you looking well, for That's your, no, I'm not looking for anything. I'm just bringing up this question. And I'm not looking for like a thing just for me, but we would need to vote on doing it, but we would have access if there's some things we want to explore. I mean, I'll give you a few examples. Like, um, uh, you know, uh, Lennox is the cultural district. Do we want to look at having a cultural district? That, would that help the town? Would, that, would the town oppose that? There's some questions about sort of bigger picture stuff that, you know, we haven't really even talked about that. And that's just one of, I could probably come up with a dozen examples of, I mean, they've got a master sidewalk plan. They've got a, you know, in Lennox. So there's a whole bunch of things they've done around planning that, that, uh, that you know, Having a little bit of help, and they get most help from BRC. Yeah, thirty-three thousand for that, correct? Yes, yeah, yeah. we got. But that's under yeah. the auspices of the planning, oh, the planning board. board. But it is for a town planner. Yeah, so, so we can. Yeah, it sort of fits, unless there's right. You know, I we I could talk to Bill about it and then figure out, you know, what their anticipation of the planner is. I don't know if the planning board's discussed it yet. So, right. yeah, I'll reach out to the chair of that and get back to you on that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. I just want to pose another 10,000 or something that, you know, there's something we want to do. We could, you know, yeah, I get, your, I get your drift. I yeah. understand. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I yeah. get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a good day for me. Right, the fourth time I said it, right? I know. We're all tired. <laughs> Rough day. Yeah. All right, that's all I got. Thanks. All right. So we're good on the operating budget, but we have that one exception of the merit increases that you'll get back to us on. Okay. Okay, so are we going to move on to capital? Capital. All righty. So <clears throat> let's just run down quickly. Uh, is there any, we have the article and the information for the overlay surplus, taking the money that would fund the fifth year revalve for the assessor's office. Um, as I pointed out, they've already released the funds and if not appropriated would be um, would we'll just go back to free cash. So okay. to me, that's a pretty simple one yeah. to do. Um, so let me, let, let's skip the debt right now because I know that's a questionable one. Um, we've got. Why does it say 2018? Oh, that's what we're calling back, sorry. Okay. So we have uh, water, water sharing with sewer uh, software upgrade. They're looking to do the lake Averick uh, Bathroom Safety Yield Study, the pump turbine, the equipment trailer, the paint and what, what the roof, the filter water turbidity installation, and the DEP master plan for the water system. Can you way to get rid of the box? Yeah. I know we've had this before. There's some way to do it. Oh, sorry. You just have to click. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's 110. These are items already approved by the Water and Sewer Commission. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's any questions on these. No. Uh, sewer has the software upgrade, um, something we need to do, the trailer, which is a shared, and then the two right. loan payments. It's a three way so, share. Yeah. And what is the phase four thing that it costs? And the phase three and four of the. We paid, we funded phase three, right? Our ARPA. We have an issue with that. Oh, yeah. so what happened? 
this this is going to come up and and I we're I'm going before the water and sewer commission to talk about it. So under ARPA, because you now have to follow the procurement of the federal government, which is different from the state government. In in Massachusetts procurement, engineering services are exempt. So if you've been using an engineer all along, such as in this case, they've used David Prickett for phase one and two. So they want to do stage three and four with David Prickett under federal procurement laws, engineering is not exempt. So we would have to go out to bid in order to do say phase three and four. But then the question is, the person that's coming in to do three and four wouldn't have done phase one and two. So can't we just pay their $96,000 loan and then, you know, take the- You can't, pay, you can't make that payment. All right, whatever. So, can we just pay something for water so now? I'm going to them on, on their next meeting next week to talk about mm -hmm. whether or not just to take out of their still funds available and get that study moving forward. Because if it's done under, with just our own money, we can, since engineering is exempt, we can just contract with David Prickett for the next stage of the study. Okay, so mm -hmm. the federal government. So you have a plan, but what about phase four? No, that's to do phase three. No, it wasn't, it was only phase three. Yeah, we never got a number for phase four. Yeah, we did, 20,000 was part of it to do the phase four, so. Do all the camera work and, no, 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 no. Phase three is going to get you the pricing. Phase four is the actual work. That's going to be millions. Phase so we're not going to know the full par. There, this does phase three and then the, the uh, prioritization list that was going to be part of page four. We're going to do that now, but we're not going to, we're not going to have the full cost of everything they're going to be mapping out okay let's, there's no problem this is why it has to go one two three four but phase four might not be millions because he said at the meeting that it could be concentrated in one area which means it would be a simple fix or it could be all over town which costs a tremendous amount of money we know that it's going to be high amounts just which of those projects and how high each one is going to be the path is, is, did People i hear it wrong million gallons yeah. at times of i and i did i hear it wrong but i think that we, in the meeting we discussed it could be like one giant problem or it could be like little problems over town and if it was one giant problem that was easy and if it was little projects around town then it could cost us a fortune one giant project in town when you're dealing with water sewer mains and that is you're not talking small money okay. i think what they're referring to it would be easier if it's around one large okay. area of infiltration compared to many small areas mm -hmm. where it could push the cost out but either one we're talking substantial costs. But, okay, so for phase three, what you're saying is they utilize their own funds. Right. So we can move forward. Yep. Phase four, is there any issue there in terms of going out to bid on that and following federal guidelines? No, um, if we go with the federal, so I'm, we're gonna keep those things out of federal so we can stay with Dave Prickett. Okay, even yep. phase four? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And, and <laughs> as far as the end. I, okay, I, completely support water and sewer and love the idea that we're getting all of these things done. But until we know the exposure the town has for what could be millions of dollars in, in trade-offs, because obviously the more infiltration there is, the less capacity there is in the system versus spending millions of dollars to fix it. I don't think any of us should opine on how much capacity we have in the system as has happened at one of our meetings recently. And I really want to insist that, that water and sewer is not political. And I think that that's great. And we've got a scientific basis to evaluate how much capacity we have and what it's gonna to cost to get us to all of the fix versus some of the fix There's gonna be cost trade-offs here. But until you guys have the answers for us, I don't have an opinion on it. Until we have those answers, I don't wanna hear any comments on how much capacity we have in the system, frankly. Okay. It doesn't really. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter to this particular. Well, sure it does. I mean, you, you, sure it does. No, if, if we have lots of capacity, then what do we spend in the millions of bucks on? This, <laughs> this you're required by law. You're required by I understand. law to do You know this. what I'm saying, though. Yeah, okay. I understand there was some break. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so now to go back to free cash. So right now, this is where we're recommended at. So we move the Stockbridge Bowl testing into the operational budget. Mm -hmm. 
OPEB is fully funded. It's at 103% right now. That could change depending on investment income in future years to keep it at that. Um, and the 85,000 for the hemlock next, which would be the next hemlock treatment, um, is being funded through CPC. So that doesn't need to be funded through free cash. That leaves the following highlighted ones as items that are still on the, um, for consideration for this board. So I have Warren articles for every one of these. So if we're moving ahead with these, we have Warren articles for each of them. Obviously, we still have a discussion of all the equipment that Highway has asked for, um, which he presented the prioritization list, which we didn't get to discuss further because we ran out of time and we'll be discussing it Thursday. We have the decision on the fire truck, whether we're borrowing, putting money in the stabilization. And then the last, then the other one, which we'll get to after this, is whether or not we go after a borrowing for others. But right now are the free cash requests. Those are the highlighted ones that are still in consideration. Okay, we have a hundred thousand dollar litigation budget, or eighty five thousand. Eighty five thousand. Yep. Uh, why isn't that Western River just in the hundred twenty legal it's budget? It's tracked separately. It's a separate. We could put it in the operational budget. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm asking because it's something that's, mm -hmm. that shouldn't be because eventually it's going to be it's done. End. It's just whether or not. Right. Well, eventually, though, it's been in there for years. Yeah, it's going to end sooner or later. And then we get reimbursed for it. And, the, and so we get the bills that are submitted related to that reimbursed for regardless of which account we put it in. I just feel like if, if it goes under or over or under, it'd be great to. You need to have an appropriation. My understanding is we need to have okay. a separate appropriation for the rest of the river. Right. So. I'm fine with everything. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. The only thing I would suggest is on number line number twenty, uh, where it says uh, beach hut roof and associated yeah. repairs, because there's a lot of comments on you know the oh, yeah. roof for twenty. You know, there's a lot more involved. Does that makes sense or not? I don't know. Well, me. So right, I forgot about that one. I was brought up update that on that. Well, we're trying to get an estimate. It's just so hard right now to get people out to take a look at it. We know it was overpriced, but what we were afraid of is if we get into it, there's rotting in the woods. Right. The whole struct. If there's once you start opening that building up, if there's under. If anything, problems, we know yeah. we're only spending it on the roof. But if it if it ends up because we knew the roof has been leaking for years. If there's other things that need to be fixed in there, we just wanted to have enough there. So instead of not being able to do it, we'd be able to do it. And then now, do we have any estimates yet on the lighting that we discussed? The lighting shouldn't be the lighting should be fairly minimal. Okay. Um, we already have electricity in there. There's already lighting. We'd replace it with LED. We'd run motion, motion sensors, sensors and yeah. stuff. Once again, with the 25, we feel like that's more than enough. Okay. The only risk of going down is, is if we go down, we might not, you know, I just think that we should leave it at that. And yeah, because if you will, have to resheat that roof, yeah. it's going to affect with, it a lot. With all the, yeah, all I, I'm good. There is three calls out. We're just waiting to hear back from yeah. that. Yeah. And if that one changes, we still have a little time to yeah. tamper, but I'm satisfied with all those yeah. numbers. Okay. So then we get to. You okay with it, Patrick? Yeah, I'm just hold on. Nope. Oh, yep. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, I think I'm good. Okay. So then we get. I have a hard time seeing that far, so I'm just trying to go through it, but sure. my version was scanned a little, little bit off bit. of what that version is. Sorry. All right. So what's next? Uh, looking at the deck. So, see, when I blow it up, it does that with the fields. There we go. Mm -hmm. I know it's a little difficult. <laughs> All right. So, looking at the deck, you'll see that I have a couple highlighted areas. Uh, so, I'm actually going to. Debt schedule or debt analysis? The debt, um, right now, I am on just debt schedule. So, debt schedule proposed or debt schedule? Debt schedule. Debt schedule. Just okay. Debt schedule. Um, so the top part is just our debt schedule taken all the way out to the to the end of the years. Now, what we have are a couple things that I would like to go down here to where it says debt schedule 75% line 54, Patrick. Mm -hmm. So you can see that there's a couple things that are coming to an end in fairly short order. One is the sewer expansion uh, A and B, which is... I highlight them is 
288,000. Mm -hmm. And then we have the town hall repairs and the water treatment plant debt services that were combined at one point. And they're gonna come do and uh, finish off in 2026. So this is the one that I've, I began looking at and then said, okay, if we were to borrow to do the Tuckerman and the other bridges, how do we fit this into our debt schedule so we're not seeing a spike in our debt schedule, we're keeping a stabilized Yeah, mm -hmm. debt. That's where we're, you know. Yeah. So I looked at what an infrastructure loan would be and going the debt schedule proposed, line, um, once again, coming down, but, uh, sorry, estimated debt, uh, which one am I going to? Debt analysis proposed or debt schedule? Yeah, let me go to debt schedule proposed. Um, so if I scroll down, you can see that if we feed in, if we feed in the new debt schedule items, mm -hmm. you can see that we keep a stable, and this is the assumption that we use free cash this year, appropriate the free cash to just pay off so we won't have any payments in the A, B, and C sewer ones. If we pay that off, that's, that would lower our debt schedule by 288,000 for 2024, which I have highlighted there. We'd be taking on 282. So once again, the debt schedule would stay level mm -hmm. as we go along um, with no significant drops or no significant increase or decrease. So this basically says that if we were to take on a $4 million borrowing with interest rates where they are now for Tucker and Averick Road, mm -hmm. intersection, pump station, and salt shed, we could get those projects done, funded, and move ahead with it without significantly changing our debt schedule, creating no peak in there. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we would be keeping an eye on would be taking and putting, taking our stabilization and setting aside a dedicated stabilization account, enough money to pay off the next three years of this building and uh, the pump, the water treatment plant in anticipation that if the school vote was to pass, we could pay this down early. And then- How much is that total? So the total of the three years of payments? Yeah, the total that you wanna put in the, in the restricted- uh, One, 1,243,000. Okay, I think that's a great plan. So what this does is just try to keep our debt schedule as level as we can, allows us to absorb some of the hit that would be coming from the school if it was to pass. And then if that, if for whatever reason, if the school didn't pass, then once the money, then that money that's in that stabilization could become free for other projects down the road. Mm -hmm. So it's a couple things. So well, there's, gonna be, there's gonna be something for a school. There's going to be some way. Either there are additional budgets going up or. There's right. going to be something, so it's not going to be a free ride. <laughs> so if you look at this, this is what we would end up with at the end of the year. Let me just shrink it just a little. Can you just explain? This would allow us. This country. No, uh, you're building, though, in the, the debt analysis proposed items into the budget. Starting in fiscal year 23, or is it 24? 24. Okay. But we'd have to set aside the money this year to pay down that 24 one so it doesn't hit, hit and us. And so does that, is that, is the reason it jumps from 1.46 to 1.8 in fiscal year 24 because you're building in all the future interest? Yeah, those were based on the, the interest sheets that I got right from the unit. No, but I'm just saying, like, like why does it jump 350? Is it because you're building in the- Sorry, the, which line are we- The debt schedule proposed items, the gray line, the last line. Yep. Or how, how it decreases. You know, the from fiscal year 23, when we fund it to 24, it jumps to 364, or some amount, 350, 340, whatever. No, 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 the debt schedule proposed items, the one before it. Oh. Uh, yeah, I did a gray line. I was gray on my computer. I don't know what color it is up there. Really? Color line. That's just bringing them in without any adjustments. So that's why I say go to the next slide proposed and it's at the bottom. And then I have taking out those other ones. That's why you get the negative 288 okay. on line 83. Mm -hmm. And then bringing in the 282. Mm -hmm. 
and going from there. And Michael, if we're going to put the money aside anyway, the 1.2 million, why not just pay those 24 through 26 right now and save a little interest? We could It'd drop the tax bill down, yeah. pay it off, and then you get the bump in that yeah. subsequent year. That so then you see the price go up, is that's what you're worried about? Yes. Right. Usually, oh, I see. Okay. Not I'm saying. not this quick as you guys. Not so okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. That's now the I whole understand. point. We're trying, right. to... We're trying to keep it level funded. So, exactly. uh, so for remaining budgets, what this would do is it would create, we'd still have after everything, we'd still have all these various accounts. Um, with money set aside for different purchases, such as if we were to set money aside for the fire engine, if we were to set money aside for the debt payment of this building, and then we'd still have all the column A are still all those accounts at their current. This would what this is what they'd be after town meeting if these articles were proposed. So okay, and so that's overall we're still in tremendously fine good shape. Position. So the free cash is. How much? We would still have a million dollars in one plus. One. Plus, we'll one. be adding. We'll be adding more. More like eight hundred thousand. Yeah, and what yeah. tab is your spiffy yeah. chart on? What's that? What tab is your spiffy chart on? I can't read that far away. Oh, remaining balances. Okay. Yeah. Tab. It's the last tab. Okay. So financially, really well. Yeah. Yes. We're good. This also leaves some money with that other money coming in, like you said, yeah. probably. We should, because we undervalued for COVID, if we take that in, free cash will bump up and with interest rates going where they are, we probably wouldn't be looking at borrowing again. We'd be using our own reserves. So we're financially stable, getting all these projects done, the other projects we finished, right. all these projects on the table, I've got to get done. We're doing very well as a town, yeah. yep. as a board, as a town, as our departments and everything. It's been fun, actually, to well, be able to financially, healthy. financially like be that. healthy and do these things <laughs> and survive. Was my private funding was this financial state. So is there, <laughs> yeah. yeah, me too. Are there any other questions as far as the capital? So obviously we still have one question, which we'll be talking about at Thursday's meeting, which is, are we buying the fire engine now? Are we setting it aside That's a couple of question. years? And then it brings in the question at 250. Right. So, I mean, I think we should discuss that. I just, yeah, I'll go to 250, put aside and wait. Right. Well, right. the one thing that struck me um, listening to Jay, and um, because there is a possibility also, we just borrow a little bit more and we do it now. Yeah. Sixty four thousand a year. But he's got all the details on this one. Yeah. Because we've I mean, had a conversation about it. I mean, look, yeah, yeah, I agree. You know, I mean the one the one consideration and the one thing that struck me that Jay had said is and it's true, and I've used this argument for other things, is that all it takes is one time that you have a major structural fire and you are not responding. Or you've got two back to back. You've got two in town. Yeah, with the manpower. Well, that's my other concern. That's just so the manpower that, to run all the equipment. So if you have two fires in town, you, right. you're... And then I still the, haven't seen the data on that. That's the trouble. We haven't gotten the data we need we to need make the these decisions. But we also know that if I had five cards in front of me and, and I had to pick one that's low probability, I'm going to get it right. Okay. And it, they said that the chance of getting this, this like grant is one in five, 20%. And I just don't know. I think that we could appropriate the money this year not spend it until we hear at the end of December and there's one in five chance we get the money, but then we're going to be keyed up to do this two-year purchase. Well, you know, and the other thing is the long lead time. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know. So, and the fact that right now we know interest rates are relatively low, you know, but the cost of everything is going up. Right. So the cost of this truck by delaying it, and we cannot order it unless we've appropriated the funds. And that's, right. so we have an automatic delay. And that's the part that now has me kind of concerned. And Chuck, if you don't, would it be more prudent to try to do this now, as long as we can still keep the debt service relatively stable? And so you, can. and you have those numbers, so why don't you fill everybody in? Yeah, so estimated for the, if we were, if that goes under the uh, tab for uh, proposed items. Yeah. You know, I had a 70000 as a rough estimate of what it would cost annually over 20 years. But if you were to pay down, say, two, instead take the 250 and pay it down, right. so you're only borrowing around 700000 you're going to reduce that payment down closer to 50000 So. 
it would allow us at today's interest rates, you know, we could go out for the borrowing. We have two years to get the borrowing, so we can still wait to see if we get the federal, uh, the assistance of firefighter program. We can also but if we don't, we can then have the money already in the bank, ready to go and order the truck. If we're gonna wait till December to like decide because we're waiting for this grant, that gives the current chief till December to get you the data you need because we don't have to pull the trigger if you don't have the data you need to make a good decision. Like you're the expert at the fire side, not me. I'm just saying we, we don't have to have all the data now just to have the borrowing authority. You know, we can we can say in six months we need you know, some kind of study done that answers your questions and you know, then so there's really two conditions on us, you know, yeah, you know, one is whether we got the grant and the other is, you know, whether or not you got the information you needed. Well, the information we're going to have. And by December, yeah. by the time you order in December, you would actually be getting it for fiscal year 2025. Yeah. By the time the truck came in. Right. July 1st, around July of 2025. Mm -hmm. It's really the only decision is it's being able to lock in a low interest rate. Right. That's it's, it's just question. a matter of trying to keep the cost down. Yes. Because we're pretty sure that the costs are just going to continue to go up, and we're pretty sure that the interest rates are going to continue to go up. So if it's something that we know you still would want to do in a year, then that begs that question, Chuck, mm -hmm. in terms of how is financially what's the most prudent way to go about it. Because if we set 250000 aside for two years, but still went out and borrowed five hundred in a year, two yeah. years, and interest rates are at 8%, we'd so, have to pay back almost 500000 in interest. So, so it we, almost wipes out. If we put in for the, the full truck. Mm -hmm. And wait to get the eight. Wait to see, see if we get within the that time, get the information we need. Yeah. And for some reason, things don't work out. Then we'd order it in December, about January 2023. If the information qualifies for the yeah. truck. Yeah. For some reason, mm -hmm. things don't work out. We Can we back off on it? Or yeah. Is it or if we get the grant. We get the grant. We, we want get the grant. Money so money having, yeah. but <laughs> I just want to make sure that we have all the ducks in the row. We get the information we need, where the apartment is, where it's going, manpower, you know. Well, regardless, what do we I mean, need for trucks? We, so we I'm know. okay with that as long as we have, it's not right, a done deal, 100% done deal for the truck unless we get all the yeah. stuff we need. Well, I mean, what's going to also matter is what's going to happen in the future with the department and whether or not we enter into any kind of shared services, et cetera. On the other hand, we're always going to need two able-bodied trucks, and we have two trucks that are at the end of their life. And <laughs> make them go away. But so that's the concern. The concern really is just a fiduciary concern that you want to be as prudent as possible when we're spending taxpayer money. No. Correct. And I don't have an issue with that as long as it's we're not approving the 100% getting okay. the truck unless we get the stuff we need. Well, we have to pull the borrowing now. Yeah, I'm saying, but then we can. And once you pull the borrowing, I, yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to ask that. that. I'll double check that to find out for Thursday. Okay. Because right. if we're pulling them, you're supposed to exercise it within so many months. Right. And, and we it should, would give us time to wait for the ATF grant, but then after that, you have, yeah, you're right. supposed to. But what we want to see. Yep. is we do want to see the run sheets and the actual yep. response. I have all those. I because what we to you. need yep. to know is whether or not they can roll yep. two trucks. So now I've got an obvious the manpower question. we have, correct? Yeah, and what future manpower. And mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of questions that we need because it's our fire department. We got to make sure it's up and running and that we exactly. don't get surprised with. Exactly. But all it takes, be. you never know. It's like anything. This is one of those unknowns. You never know. You could. We could, even though we haven't had many fires, that doesn't mean tomorrow we don't have two major structure fires. It does, can happen. Who yeah, thought yeah. Camp Mackinac was going to go up like that? So it's well, always the unanticipated thing. And so I'm just concerned that, you know, if anything happens to either one of those two older trucks. Is this, is this at all a controversial? You guys have a very sense of town meeting. Is this one a controversial one or not a controversial one? Yeah. Or is it always hard to tell? I don't think it's. 
controversial. All this stuff that we need. Well, I mean, we had some different opinions on finance committee. I'm just wondering why, if they're both 20-year loans, and why it's not just in the infrastructure, so we have the maximum flexibility on price. Well, I probably end up saying that. Put them together. Yes, we. Yeah. I would go out and borrow for just one, with an understanding that we're. But we have to make sure that you know, you know, because of the price adjustments. Yeah, the whole strategy on that one was the bridges. We're not quite sure where they're going to come in. So, you know, we don't necessarily want to only appropriate X amount for the for the truck. And just in case, by the time we do go out, it's up 20 percent. Who knows? Right. You know, right. So you're saying, no, I definitely have to this for I'd have to make a couple of tweaks to this. I'm asking. Right. Right. Yes. So you would be tweaking that four million. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And depend, depending on a couple of things, like if you decide to put. 250,000 from free cash into an account and then borrow X, you know, right. yeah. You're is there a way to, is there a way to put them together, but let the people vote on separately? Uh, no, I mean, we're either putting them together or not. Okay. Then I, or, then I think because some people on the finance committee infrastructure, so, yeah, some people on finance committee expressed a concern about buying the truck. Now I'd rather then keep the financing separate so that they have the ability to weigh in without killing the bridges, you know? But the benefit of the bundling is that it gives you the flexibility. It does. But all the, the I have to make sure that they all fit within the same category with bond, which right. all the infrastructure ones do. So you can borrow that as just one generic right. thing because they're all infrastructure. So this so may have to be. This separate. may have to be a separate okay. one. Right. Okay. Yep. Do we have any questions at this point? Uh, I mean, any questions or comments from the public at this point? Not seeing any hands up. Charlie, did you not? This is you had said you wanted to talk about this one. Do you not want to? I'm sorry, I didn't think I had anything to say at this point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm tired. All, All right. right. So or our articles, do we want to go to that next? We're all done with the capital? I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, one, two, and three are obviously your normal ones. Right. Number four, I still have to get you that final number on what we're doing as far as pay. Mm -hmm. uh, article five and six of the school. Those are those are the numbers. Those are the updated numbers that are in there. Uh, article seven, eight, and nine are all in preservation. I did clear. It looks everything looks good. Article ten looks good actually. Mm -hmm. So that's all the way through twenty three, right? Yeah. So all the CPC ones, which you've gotten all the backup information for, mm -hmm. takes us all the way through Article 23. There's one new thing. DOR wants you putting an estimate in of what each category's 10% would be. So you just base it off the previous year, but you'll actually end up just moving the actual amount. Plus okay. That's why you see it number in there. Why is Article 25 not the 37.5? The what? Article 25, why isn't that 37.5? Oh, that's Article 26. Yeah. Yeah, 26 is 37 points. For uh, that's inner, there's two, Inner Lake is the other station. There's that's two. just a pain. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. So we have Article 24, which is a cemetery trust fund. Article 25, which is free cash for um, the Inner Lake station. Article 26 is the Glendale station. Article 27 is 35 with all the language as far as all the other votes to put money in there and make sure we have funds for rest. appropriated for rest of river. Yep. Um, so here's where we get into probably one that's still up a little bit because uh, 340 was for both mid-sized trucks. Um, there was some debate. I didn't feel as though we had definitely said all six were moving forward with the finance committee. I know that one of these was uh, priority number five by the highway. I look at they were asking what our opinion was on these. My opinion is moving forward with them all. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> we go with it all. Yep. The whole right. package. 
Just for you, Hugh. <laughs> no, it's actually for <laughs> Yes. Um, there are a couple here which I will bring up Thursday night. I wasn't prepared, but like to 20,000 for tools. I might just recommend that we don't take that out of free cash this year and take it out of our reserve fund in this year's budget because we haven't really hit it. Right. But okay. I need to do a couple final little analysis to make sure I don't want to commit to something that we can't do. Okay. We might also be able to pull the $35,000 truck out of here. And how are we going to inventory and track those? What's that? Twenty thousand dollars in tools. How are we going to inventory and track them? Huey's going to take care of that. Yeah, they yeah, have to be very much so. Yeah, Huey's going to have a. Huey has a good plan for that. There will be a system. Well, I know Patrick mentioned that there's ways of putting a tracker uh, on some it. of the <laughs> certain dollar amount items. We could put ways to keep track of it. Yeah, no, that's tie in Huey's priority list. Yeah. And ours. All jokes aside, I mean, you know. No, it's not a joke. It's, it's like, we're going to spend this kind of money on equipment. I want to make sure yep. that it yeah. stays in the yard. Absolutely. Yep. Everything yeah. should be signed out, signed in, one person tracking it, yep. the rest. Just so. like they do with water and sewer. Yep. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. Oops. Uh, $50,000 uh, from for the hydrological study can put some bond. That way we can start figuring out exactly what we need to do. Pull the plug on it, drain it, there you <laughs> get, it back, get it back to farmland. To see if the vote will transfer uh, 57, that's, for the, that's the park and rec to do the uh, swimming area in the sand in front. Okay. 25,000 for the replacement of the beach uh, restrooms and roof. Uh, like we said, I, we're recommending it as a way to go. Um, so if we decide to move ahead, um, here's the 385 to pay off the remainder of the loans. This would be getting that loan out of the way for 2024 and moving in the new loan so that we don't have a jump in our uh, borrowing. Yeah, All right. All right. Uh, 10,000 for ice climb signs. Uh, 20,000 is from the overlay surplus to for our revalve. Uh, okay. All the these... signs for a second. Yep. I'd like us to start to move toward a design guide for the town. Yeah. And, and so I don't mind appropriating the money, but I don't want, I, I, I do believe that final, I think that town should have a brand of the Stockbridge brand, whatever we decide yeah. it is. Yeah. And you have great signs on main street. Well, that's just it. We already have designs and they're the directional signs that were done Sorry. years ago. Right. And I would say we just follow that font and that format. There's, you're right, but you know, there's, there's shapes, there's like materials, there's like the font, there's font size. There's, there's a little bit more that goes into a design guide. And I just simply want oh, yeah. to articulate that we don't have to spend any money necessarily, but having. Oh no, but utilizing yeah. that, which yeah. has already right. been designed, right. that's still, we need to talk to the Chamber of Commerce about following through on the rest of the directional yeah. signs, yeah. Right. but use that as the base. Right. That's the right. starting point. I just, I'm just saying that I don't want, you know, because some yeah. of the beach stuff isn't quite match that and some of the stuff over in some right. of our trails isn't quite match it. And right. I'd like us to move as we start to fund signage toward right. universal signage. As long as it's a town sign. Yep. 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 Okay. Yep, I agree. All right. So 40, 41 and 42 are all the trailer from three different accounts. Uh, and then we get into all the sewer and the water ones that we already went over when we were on capital. Mm -hmm. So those are pretty straight for the water. Then we have, so this is where we get into the, you know, are we going for the full 4 million or not? Um, you know, that, that seems to be our big article for Thursday night. So I would, I will actually highlight this one as sort of one that we're finishing up on. We agree for the four million, right? Yeah, yeah. we all agreed already on this. You one. want to just? No, I support the projects. I'd rather see them voted separately. I will vote for every one of those projects. I just would rather see them separated. Is there out. a way to word each one that we can, if it goes over? That's, this is what this language is. Yeah, but well, if we did each one separately, is there a way then to you're stuck to, no, you're, you're stuck to those this. exact amounts in there. That's why I'm not recommending that yeah. you go. Right. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. I, I, see, not, both, I see both sides yeah. of it. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. You guys getting the calls. I've gotten, I've gotten five or six calls in the last two days on 
Yeah, look at this opinion town. People have opinions on the intersection. I'm not saying they're right. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm not saying they're informed. I'm not, I'm not saying they're uninformed. I'm just getting calls. And I just feel like if the council wants to debate it, that is their prerogative. And that's what, you know, I'm not, I'm just saying. But the risk of putting each article individual is we could go out to bid on I'm not a saying call. each article. I'm saying that one because that's it's controversial. That one. Oh, all right. I didn't, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I thought you meant each one. No, God, no. I'm just saying, like, okay. the sure. intersection is is everybody in this town is a, seems as, has a different opinion on the intersection. And I... Well, I mean, we paid for, we appropriated and paid for this engineering study. The select board made a decision based on what was given. We've done a number of presentations. We'll do another one. Um, and I just hate to see that we end up wasting what all the effort and the money that's gone into this so far. Um, Charlie, you have a question? Uh, am I allowed to speak? This is an article about the intersection being... Yes, uh, yeah. yes. Yeah, come up. Come on yeah. up. <laughs> I thought you would be quiet all day. <laughs> That'd be better for both of us, probably. I'm Charles Kenny, Five Meadow Road. I'm a taxpayer, I'm a voter, I'm a full-time resident, and I'd like to request the select board separate the intersection uh, uh, plan from the bridges. As it are, I have several requests related to this actually. The first is it sh I think it should be separated. I don't, I don't feel comfortable as a citizen taking a controversial item, which I think is controversial from talking to many of the people in town, which I don't think has been properly brought out into the public forum. I know there have been attempts to bring this to the public's attention, but during this uh, disease, people have been different. And I think this particular item should be placed into a context. It's Article 52. I, I have a hard time staying awake at that point during the town meeting at, at Article 52. It should be separated and moved at least to the front or even better as I think was brought up and I thought you had promised the town that you would do is to have a special airing of this for the town in a proper way so that the citizens could ask their many questions. I think a lot of us have questions still about this. And I know that, uh, you know, Roxanne, your point is, is that you've spent some money, you don't want to waste it, but I, this is a million dollars. Mm -hmm. And I spoke to the engineer myself, and uh, uh, I mean, there are many citizens out there who have different ideas about this. I have an idea. The objection to my idea seemed to be that simply that uh, it was uh, going to eliminate the bike paths. Uh, I think that uh, what we need to do is to have a, a, a citizen review of this in a way that is not packaged in with the bridges, which is a different kind of investment. We all know we need the bridges. And what's to be done in the, on the intersection, I think really re relies on a lot more input from the town. And in fact, we don't need a consultant to tell us what to do there. We need a consultant to tell us how to do, it, not what to do. And I think first of all, the citizens need to give a chance, be given a chance to express themselves about it. And I don't think they've had a chance during, it's not your fault, it's just this, this hasn't been the environment for it. So personally, I would like to see this put up as a special town meeting item, the, the intersection, maybe after the summer when everybody gets a chance to, 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 you know, to relax a little bit and have a good time. But the bridges is different, and I see that that's an important thing to get on the warrant. I don't think there's a lot of controversy about that, but I do request that you take this out from that bridge item and either put it earlier in a warrant as a separate item so it can be discussed when everybody is fresh and we have full attendance, or even better, delay it to another meeting. Thank you very much. Well, um, I will comment though. We have done several several presentations, and I mean, you may this may be a valid point in terms of people just didn't happen to be there, um, but we have posted on the website. So oh, I know, you and know. we certainly intend to do another presentation. Um, I think a point was well taken. You know, I understand where you're coming from, and point is well taken. We can discuss that in terms of separating this and also in terms of doing it as a special town meeting. That has come up in conversation I, in the past. I would like well, that. Well, what yeah. I'm saying is, I would like I'm not just saying very much. what I'm saying about the poor attendance and the poor concentration from a layman's point of view. I'm actually now gonna give you advice from the Board of Health. I think you should delay this controversial item until the town has had more chance to recover. 
And that's my advice. Okay. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> so, point well taken. I yeah. have no issue with making this a special town meeting later on in the summer I don't either. fall. I don't either. It's really, really concentrating. Because, this is a good because we are in a crunch situation, and it has been the intention all along that we want to have more involvement. We want to continue to do some presentations so people actually understand this maybe a little better. Um, and it's been a time crunch, you know, and so we really haven't had that opportunity to do this in the in the depth with the public participation that we, we would have like to. Two so or two or three meetings throughout the summer yeah. into the fall and have special town meeting and really right. hashes out every, everybody has a chance. I don't want it. Right. We don't want to rush it. We're not bearing this for any reason. Yeah. This is. But the one other, it, but yeah, one other comment I wanted to make is you said, you know, we don't need a consultant to tell us. But you, you made a comment, Charlie, um, that we don't need a consultant to tell us what to do. The consultant did not tell the select board what to do. They came forward with multiple options for each intersection and the select board voted on those. All right. and, and and some of those options were four or five times the cost of the yes. one. And did, 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 did that fit the town? Yeah. If, if I might, I just, Roxanne, I appreciate what you said there. And believe me, I understand you guys do a good job and you have a lot of hard work. And it's been tough for you just like everybody else. But I spoke with the consultant myself. The consultant told He's an engineer. Charlie, He's not a consultant. Charlie, you're talking past the sale here. They've just agreed with you. He's an engineer. <laughs> I've got a 530. I've got a 530. So, school committee meeting. Well, I'm I would really love to. The consultant did not consider any options that did not involve removing the bike paths. And what we what bike paths? Okay. Pass. We'll talk about that at the special town meeting that you just asked for. Okay, well, it's I'm great. just going to say they're million dollar bike paths. Yeah. Bike, oh, the bike paths. B I K E. Um, oh, so, bike paths. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying bypass. I thought you said bypass. But no, we've agreed with you, Charlie. So, so I would. So another, I, I guess another question that has come up because Patrick, you mentioned it. I have, I have listed these articles based on the way when I came in last year that you've always done where you put CPC first, you've done this order. There's nothing. If you guys would like to have a priority of putting, I know Patrick, you mentioned about putting the highest cost items first. Uh, that or I don't think I don't think if it's not controversial I don't care if it's the beginning or end <laughs> I just want to give the people well, yeah sometimes people have babysitters or they get tired or they've got a bladder problem whatever the issue is I don't want to put the really important stuff at the end of the meeting that's all I'm saying right yeah you know? okay so, but, so, no, but so the question is take this I out? would make can I make a motion on it yeah well wait before you do that we we might want to add a little bit more pad for the bridges if because we were going to play with the sort of one might be a little less one might be a little more i think if you're going to make a motion it should be at 3.2 how about instead the four we save this one for thursday night yeah. okay don't approve this one tonight okay taking the intersection out i'll look at the cap look at it and we'll discuss it thursday of what this but i will leave enough in there i would even leave the four okay. maybe I mean, oh, well, the other question is whether fair. the fire truck could actually. We can't. We're that means we're, no, you slide the fire truck in there, and it stays at four instead of adding. Exactly. Fire exactly. It's the same issue. Some of the people on the finance committee didn't like the fire truck. Yeah, okay. So no, we're not. I think yeah. if they agree to the fire truck strategy, it's a good thing to put them all together. Plus, fire trucks. They don't, yeah. no, I did we're not going to take the intersection out and throw a fire truck in this right. package. This right. No, no, no. The fire truck would still be separate. Oh, okay. The overall borrowing yeah. would now probably be the same. We want to have the flexibility because the price increases may not increase. So I did list 54 as an and or with 250 and the borrowing. So these aren't ready to be finalized tonight. Okay. But we have but agreement that the intersection is coming out and we'll do that in a special town meeting sometime in the fall. One, yeah. Yes. Yes, we're in agreement. All right. We're in agreement, right? We are, we are, okay. we are. I think the, your, your motion is wonderful. 55 yeah. is, is I'm finalizing this one. So. This one is not, this is that we have a private person putting in a sewer main, and this would allow us to enter in a covenant with them that they install it, they they may for one year, and then after a year we own it. We've actually done this backwards before. We've let people put stuff under the roads without us taking possession and later try to take possession. If it's going under our roads, the town should own it, but what we should do is make sure it's in a covenant that after a year. Yep. So I'm work, I, I will send this all to Donna now based on the comments tonight, mm -hmm. have her go through everything. I'll highlight the ones that we haven't finalized yet. 
Article 56 is the request from the school for the, the one to repay. Let's go back to Article 55 for a minute. second. Yep. I, I just, I don't have any problem with it. I'm not going to, I will just state that access to sewer should not be based on the ability to pay as a default. I understand that, like, like right now. you got the money, you can do it, but. It, it, you know, I just think about a lot of people I know in town who might be across the street from something and would love to have it and they don't have, you know, whatever it is that they're putting, I mean, there was 100,000, 300,000, this is a lot of money, isn't it? Uh, I don't know, I don't know the price because they're going to be putting it in, it, you know. But it's not trivial. It's not a long length that they're putting in to connect to one. Yeah, I'm just saying that I think we need to sort of start to think through the policy of how we kind That's of figure out. With the, uh, well, we've already yeah. talked about having That's, a master plan. Okay, good. Oh, You're right. right. $1.5 million is Berkshire Regional School District request for the feasibility. Mm -hmm. And then Article 57, which is a, a legitimate uh, petition article, therefore is automatically on the warrant as is written. Who reads that? Uh, yeah. A person that, if somebody's pre the presenter, knows, presenter. the one that submitted the petition. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. And Ironic word. Well, and that's it. And sure. That's it. Can we make a motion adjourn? I got to meet him. Yeah, yeah. I think we're adjourn. good. So we're good except for those couple of exceptions. Yep. I'm going to send it to Donna and then we'll finalize it. Hope maybe by the 21st we can have this all wrapped up. Okay. If not, the 20th. Good job. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I make Any... a motion to adjourn. Second. Well, let's see questions. if we have any public comments or questions before we leave. Anyone? Thank you. No, hearing none. Go ahead. I make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> I'll Aye. second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you.